Hi guys, welcome back to Harvey Master. Um, as you, as most of you guys know, I got a new dog. Her name is Madison. If you guys watched my video, I forget what it was called, but it had something to do with a new rescue pet. It was in my, you know, latest uploads thing. So we've had Madison for just over three weeks, and we still have barely introduced her. Actually, we haven't introduced her to our other dogs, Cody and Coco. And our outdoor pets migrated before we got her, so. She knows Ziggy, but I mean, I mean, he's, he's a fish and she's a dog. There's, there's not many problems they can have. But dogs can get jealous, they can fight, they cannot like each other. So the only time we've introduced them so far is when we've been sleeping together. I, I'm letting Cody and Coco back into my bed and when Madison's sleeping. Huh. And I would actually probably should do this when she knows sit very well. Let's put her <laughs> let's put her leash on her. Okay, so we've got her leash on her. Coco's leashed and I have him in the corner. Uh so yeah, we don't know how she, so her owner said she reacts fine with other dogs. She thinks we're going out. She reacts fine around other dogs, but in Coco, yeah, he, he's good. He's been introduced, yeah, he's been heavily socialized, but the reason I'm not introducing Cody today is because he tends to have a jealousy issue with new younger dogs. Huh, Madison, and we don't want Cody fighting with you or anything. I'll just let her get used to being on a leash here for a minute. You see, I'm not even... Having, like, rushing into this saying, okay, Madison, Coco, meet. You know, I'm just letting her walk around, hang out. They probably smell each other. Okay. And Coco's on his collar, not his harness, because I won't be walking him per se, and he doesn't need to know. He, he doesn't need to think he's on the job. Okay. Now, I'll walk Madison over. Come on. Who's this? And I'll pull her back if there seems to be any biting. Other than play, of course. Hey, 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 it's the... <laughs> Coco, is this a new dog? Is this a new dog? <laughs> Madison? Let's see if I can get her attention on me. Madison, look at me. Yeah, we've been working on that. Hasn't been too, too good so far. Good girl in your crate. So see, she's not, she's just curious in him, really. She, she's not trying to hurt him. She may think he's a dog toy, actually. Huh. But this is very healthy behavior. I mean, Coco obviously can't do anything. I'm right here, watching him. And not, you see I'm not holding on to both their leads, um, leashes. I'm not saying commands to them. Just letting them have a healthy interaction with each other. And this is why I want her to get used to younger dogs before I introduce her to older ones. Because older ones tend to be a little more nippy. And actually, she is older than Coco because she's between five and eight. We don't know exactly. And Coco turns five this year on Christmas Eve. So. Uh. She's in a little playful mood right now. Problem is with her playful moods, they're so crazy that is that another dog? Is that another dog? Yeah, this is this is healthy interaction. I'll let Coco maybe kind of sniff her. Yeah, he's backing away a little. Yeah, she is getting playful, so let's see. Yeah, she's backing up. I've been keep 
keeping Cody and Coco upstairs so that um, they do not have any outbursts to each other. That's good sit. Yes, good healthy behavior. They're just sitting next to each other. Hmm. She's, she's just minding her own business. He's minding his. Coco's minding his. I would have them try and bond over a toy, but Coco likes toys. Eh, not so much. She likes some toys, not others. And I would go get one of Coco's, but based on her nippy behavior to him, I would say probably not the best idea to leave them two alone. In a non-controlled environment. You know? Okay, Madison's wandered off right now. Let's see if I can get her attention back to me. Ooh, she almost play, engaged in a little play there. She's very interested in this new device called a camera. You're all tangled, Madison. I thought she was rolling over there. No, she's itching. Coco, look at me. Look at me. Good boy. Good look at me. So yeah, guys, if you have, like, M Madison's very interesting on what she thinks are dog toys. I'm just going to let her wander off a little there. Maybe she'll play, get some energy out. I don't know. Madison, come! But yeah, make sure at least one of the dogs, especially the one that you think may have, may... Be the victim of another one's outburst is well disciplined. Madison, eh, not so much. Coco has been trained since he was a puppy. There's healthy behavior. <laughs> Sniffing his butt, play biting a little. Hey, she got his leash. This is Coco, Madison. Coco's used to play bites. We had um three puppies that were in training service dog training here once, so he's very used to play biting. Hi! Hi! You're so cute. And as you've noticed, I haven't actually taken either of them, even Coco, the very disciplined dog, off leash, um, even for a free play session, since if one of them had quickly in unexpectedly has an outburst toward another, I don't want to be lunging for their collar. I need have I have to have something better to control them with. So yeah, we'll, we will definitely do more socializ socialization, and I don't, I think the fact that Coco's so small compared to her is not really helping matters with this nipping thing. And she's not really nipping, she's just trying to like Chew on them, explore, if explore them, check them out. But good sit, Madison. Good sit. Good girl. Yeah, it's funny. The older dog is less disciplined, but she, she was rescued from a puppy mill. They don't train her, and she was with her foster, who had tons of other dogs to deal with for only two weeks. So I've been working on her training, but it's. She's definitely not as disciplined as my buddy here. So, yeah, well, after this, we will probably take a little longer to introduce Cody. Um, I don't know if I've told you guys before, but when Coco was a puppy, I didn't know about socialize introducing dogs slowly to each other or anything. So, I just introduced them right away on leashes, and Coco tried to play with Cody, and Cody got real nippy, and, and he um, bit him. Coco wasn't faced at all, but... And, yeah, Coco's been well socialized with puppies. She's not a puppy. She's older than him, but turns out to be a little nibbly right now. But, yeah, if you have a dog, if you if your existing dog tends to have outbursts to other dogs when they nibble them or bite them, make sure your new dog is very disciplined in that category or you have something to, to get their attention off with before you introduce them, because we don't want a dog attack, do we? No, we don't. So yeah, Madison's pretty much ignoring Coco now, since I've 
strictly redirected and disciplined her biting. But yeah, see, she she's coming over a little. Madison, want to say hi? Yeah, so see, like, if it was just a collar, I would have had to wrestle my finger underneath Coco's collar. Or I would have spooked, I would scoop, poop, spook, good sit. I would spook Madison if I tried to do that to her. And so with the leashes, I can just pull back. And if you have a puppy, especially, or an extremely, in a, a dog that you don't think will, the meeting will go very well, make sure you have two people so that you can both actively grab the dog's leashes and keep them on a harness in case you need to pull them back very strictly. And if it gets, if it's, you think it's going to be really severe, probably just don't introduce them in the first place. Try to keep them separate. But if you do want it just in case, like if you do want to introduce them just to be sure in case they ever meet each other when you're not around, keep them on a head halter. It, it's a harness, but it has pressure. It has... Um, part of, part of it goes on pressure points, so where you you can give the dog a gentle pull, and it'll go where you want it to go. So yeah, and th Matt, yeah, these two just sitting calmly. Let's see if she lets Coco s if she can let Coco sniff her again. Good girl. Good girl, Madison. The command she's mastered really is stay. Like, watch. M Madison. <laughs> Madison, stay. Yeah. Well, she is distracted right now, kind of, you know. Cody. I mean, Coco. Um, yeah, so she's not, she's not in her best listening years right now, is she? No. Huh. Yeah, she's not, but... So yeah, this was a very healthy training. I think Coco... I'm very proud of how Coco reacted. Madison was a little chewy at first, but after that, she just left him alone and gently sniffed him. Um... Guys, um, so... so in conclusion, guys, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to Hobby Master. Also, check out my other channel, F FYPFY and WAC Official. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed.